Good morning, fans of the Privateer FX. Monday morning, 12 February. Quiet one overnight. Uh, finally, we had a bit of a quiet one after a very, very tumultuous week. Or shall we say in our business, a fun week. Things kind of settled and haven't moved too much. Euro drifted a little bit higher overnight to a high of 96. Not much really to say there. Took out some weak shorts above this uh, sort of 90, 95 level. But you see it's a trap break up here with these overhangs. So we're not really too interested in Euro at this point. Uh, cable also squeezed the shorts. This is basically the lo the area where Barnier came out, uh, flapping away about Brexit potential Brexit problems and whatnot. Tough one, cable here with the BOE hawkish and the elephant in the room Brexit. So we're just gonna sit tight, kind of leave this guy alone for a little bit. You can see yields have done nothing. Very, very quiet. 285 on the tens. Got Swiss CPI today. Nobody really cares about that. Dollar Swiss still below 94, but as you can imagine, done nothing. Let's go to dollar yen, which is, I think, more important, mainly because we are just knocking on the door of this six year trend line uh, downstairs there. Let's uh, pull these dailies up. You can see this has been drawn since uh, 2012. So where that comes in today, depending on where you draw it, what chart system you have, it's somewhere around 108 to figure. You can probably now use uh, low on Friday, 108.04, as your entry into this sort of change in long-term trend break, if it happens. We do think it is going to happen, and therefore we're sellers of dollar yen today. We're going to be a little bit more careful. We were more, more, we we're much more aggressive on Friday because it had all the makings of a Friday type of trade. Um, today it looks quiet, looks kind of squeezy, so we'll be getting short up around 109. The figure with a very, very conservative fade with a stop above 110. So it's a big stop there. So do your calculations, run your P&L scenarios before you put this trade on. You know how to size it. So if you're selling 109s and you're risking 100 points, you better check the P&L if it doesn't work. Make sure it's within budget. But we don't think dollar yen can get above 110. We do think this trend line is going to break and the break of this trend line also should signify a good 400 point move. So this is the plan of attack for today. Although as I said now things look a little bit squeezy. You had basically a chance to break it on Friday. You did not. Let's look at the euro yen which did similar broke down these key levels 133 we got paid uh, took the stuff back around 50 and 60 certainly didn't hold it to the to the very lows but now we've we're back above this break zone looks squeezy looks like we're gonna drift higher technically on the candlestick methodology it was an indecision day and indecisions days after up moves or down moves sometimes can be a bit spooky as in might be change in trend let's go to stocks there's money to be made in S&P's great volatility we touched that 200 day on Friday we just couldn't, couldn't muster through it this is a huge huge moving average to be watching. Again, feels squeezy. This could easily go up 60, 70, 80 handles. Um, so into 27, 27, 20, 27, 50. This is our sell zone. Um, we are not getting short. We're not reloading here. Uh, 
uh, we have some we have some structures for the downside so we're not uh, we're not trading the March contract here but we will be adding March contract up towards 27 2700 what else is there not a whole lot it looks like a a sit down and watch type of Monday open Kiwi again same strategy as Friday We're trying to sell high ones loop the order um, get a better average and wait for the next down leg let's look at these dailies the next down leg which we think is probably maybe one or two days away so as we said the 6080 area is a sell zone and you get plenty of chances you know it goes up to 60 back down to 40 goes up to 80 back down to 60 on Friday we were selling in the 40s buying in the 25s and and that kind of a thing so we're just trying to trade this on the downside even though this is a minor up move here we're bearish kiwi we're selling high ones we're not selling low ones we're selling high ones uh what else dollar cat holy cow mark i got screwed on that number employment change was much worse but wages were higher so immediate move up to 80 and then immediate move down to uh 125.60 we were just spectating, so it didn't really touch us too much. But uh, wow, a bit of a cluster clusterfuck on the dollar cat on Friday. Not much to do there now. I don't really, I really, I don't really know. Um, it seems to me that weaker employment trumps higher wages, but that's a pretty bearish bar there. Friday, wouldn't really want to fight that too much right now. But again, no real strong view, dollar cat. Uh, let's go to some of our stock ideas. Facebook. We have an excellent average in Facebook, but it did come back pretty hard on uh, on Friday, but still well below the trend line. Uh, we're short Facebook, and also Tesla. Tesla didn't bounce at all. Well, I mean, I guess it did bounce, but um, 16 bucks. But Tesla is in trouble daily close below 300 is really really trouble in Tesla will this melt up a little bit today with S&P's yes probably but we're using this moving average here 200 day 337 as our kind of sell zone core short um, I feel bad being short Tesla because we love uh, Elon Musk and we love Tesla but if you look at the num if you look at the numbers in Tesla, it just doesn't doesn't work, doesn't pass the uh, the grandma test. Uh, costs exceeding revenues massively, heavily indebted, about to be further really indebted. So anyway, Tesla and Facebook are our little uh, pet shorts uh, on the single stock side. And S and P's were waiting for a little bit of more of a melt up before we re-engage there. Very very quiet. We're recommending watching the open here today. Watch. No reason to trade in a market that's digesting and resting. Save your bullets for the inevitable volatility that's coming later in the week. Good luck, people. See you in the New York open. Ciao.